Hi, my name is Corinne Lewis Ward and I am the founder and designer for Powder Butterfly and the director for the newly formed community interest company, Creative Heritage Studios. In this video, I will be sharing some top tips with you, which I hope will help you within your own business. And I'll also be sharing my experience of lockdown, which gave me an opportunity to pause and really think about the things that I wanted to change about my own business and shape its future. I thought I would start by giving you some insight into my own businesses and a glimpse at the experience that I have as a creative business owner. I received a master's in photography at Sunderland University in 2008. And from that point on, I did a wide variety of artworks, including installation work as part of a group show. I also did shop art, which was a public artwork installation. And I carried out a residency at Newcastle University, producing microscopy photography of different specimens and samples that they had within the university. This culminated in a final exhibition called Adventureland, where I worked with patients and schools to produce an installation at, in Elden Garden. This is an image of the installation I produced where I produced a tea party. These images are of participants' work and I thoroughly enjoyed working with the public and within schools to make a diverse range of different artworks with children and adults. And the skill that they show demonstrated was amazing. I also did an artwork for Newcastle City Library and this fused my love of product and art. I worked as a freelance artist for many years prior to starting my product design retail business Powder Butterfly and although I enjoyed my time as an artist I had lots of commercial creative ideas that I wanted to try out so I launched Powder Butterfly in 2012. As an artist, I was always fascinated by how things are made and collaborating with diverse print companies was always a passion of mine, even at university. So the natural progression towards working with manufacturers was quite an easy fit for me. Over the last eight years, I've saw some of the very best British manufacturers and artisan makers who now work with me to create the products you can see on the screen. From fine bone china, tea towels and chopping boards to gold plated cufflinks, my supply chain have a wealth of experience and many have decades of heritage that they draw upon to make my designs particularly special. 2020 was meant to be a great year for my small business. I had ambitious strategies for growth and I was really focused on generating record sales. But then in March, lockdown happened, along with a life-changing health diagnosis and two elderly family members passing away, I can quite honestly say March was a very tough month. In the subsequent months, all of my planned sales events have been cancelled, which I knew would have a major impact upon my business financially. And this, of course, increased my stress levels, which was, wasn't great for my health. I saw other small businesses coming up with amazing new ideas and having great success over lockdown. And I just felt exhausted mentally and emotionally. I'm sure some of you might be able to relate to this. I realised that I would have to use the time I had to take a pause and rethink what I wanted to do and plan for 2020 with the new unknown territory that we are currently facing. What I knew was that I love working on new designs for Powder Butterfly, but that I have always been drawn to creating work that has a social impact. As an artist, I have carried out a wide variety of community-based projects. As a designer, I have most recently worked with the Millen Charity in Newcastle as their business development coordinator. And I realised that my many years of experience in both areas are quite unique and could be used to have a positive impact on local communities. This is where the idea of setting up a community interest company came about. The ethos behind this kick was to have the opportunity to create new designs, give paid opportunities to the creative community and have a positive impact. All of these things made me feel really excited and my mind started working overtime to come up with a plan. 
For me, lockdown was spent setting up Creative Heritage Studios and on the 25th of June 2020, I registered it on Companies House. I now have three amazing directors and I am about to start working with a professional fundraiser. Our very first project is going to be about rejuvenating our local high streets and I will be working in partnership with a highly respected North East Arts organisation. Alongside all of this, I've still been running Powder Butterfly and trying to think of ways in which I could continue to develop and grow the business. But I have to say, none of this was easy with two kids in the house and the pressure of losing significant income, but I knew I needed to find a way. What I realised is that instead of seeing the public and my stockists as customers, I needed to start seeing them as a community and that it was this community that would help me to grow the business. Powder Butterfly is on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter and now TikTok and keeping in touch with my community is paramount. I found lockdown a really difficult time to navigate and it really didn't feel important to be selling people teapots when they were potentially worried about catching a deadly virus. What I have come to realise is that without my business, my supply chain suffers and that my community still have birthdays, anniversaries and special occasions that they need gifts for. I realised that my business had a place during a global pandemic, even if I wasn't selling PPE and hand sanitizer, and that I needed to stay in touch with my community. So I decided to open a TikTok account. If you haven't already, I would highly recommend it. More than anything, it is such great fun. Just opening this account made me happy. The creativity on this social media platform and its playful nature is how I started showing my customers how I pack my orders. This was my way of reassuring them that I was still open and that I could deliver what they needed in a safe and responsible way. Lockdown was a great opportunity for me to refocus and really understand what it is that I do. Sometimes when you work so closely on something, you lose sight of your purpose and why you started doing what you do in the first place. I learned that a resilient, a reliance on face-to-face -face events wasn't a great strategy for Powder Butterfly and building a robust regular income through e-commerce was a much more sensible strategy. I also learned that I have lots of transferable skills that I can use to have a positive impact upon my local community and that I should really actively pursue this. So, my top tips for you right now when we find ourselves experiencing a second lockdown in the North East are Build trust with your community and do this by showing them that you take their safety and their customers seriously and that you appreciate their support, whether it's a comment on social media or a review or a purchase. Be creative. Think creatively about how you want to grow your business, how you want to promote it. Look around you at what other people are doing and be inspired to do something original yourself. Build the right team around you. I am a sole trader, but I would be nothing without my manufacturers, suppliers and my freelance colleagues. I'm also building an amazing sales and marketing team who have already had a huge impact upon my business. We are looking to help other small businesses, so please feel free to get in touch. Understand your true purpose beyond making money. What gets you jumping out of bed in the morning, apart from your bottom line? Mine is creating high quality products that customers keep coming back for and cannot wait to shout about. And above all, don't end up in landfill. It's about boosting the local and national economy by supporting British manufacturers and artisan makers. And it's about creating products that capture an emotional connection between people and places. What positive impact are you having? This is one of the most important top tips I have. Make sure that you understand that the positive impact that you are having and can you build in new products or services that can reach more people? The future of business is focused on positive impact and let's face it, we all want to be part of a future that is full of hope and positivity. During the height of the global pandemic, it was good news stories that we all gravitated towards. 
I think we all got fed up of the bad news that we could see happening around us. So my question is this, how can your business be part of a good news story on the other side of lockdown? I've been looking to find the perfect quote to end this film with. I find Mary Portis is always ahead of the curve and I found this quote on the Portis Agency website. We're ready to sell, shop, live differently in a way that feels good, does good and builds healthy businesses. Where some see crisis, we see so much opportunity. So my message to all of you is to go and feel good, do good and build a healthy business and let's show this pandemic we won't be defeated.